Matrilab is a research lab uh, focusing on interdisciplinary collaboration. And it really extends far beyond the, the office and the, and the black box that we have. It's something that really does kind of infiltrate into the city. And I find it to be a, not only positive, but unique because it's not something that I've experienced working in other labs. Yeah, there's an openness in Sandeep's research projects that sort of create opportunities for the artists involved in the lab. We work together with people from inside the university. We work with people from the community, um, especially the artistic community, not only in Montreal, but worldwide. People who come to us and say, well, you know, could I have three days at the Metro Lab? Could I have a month at the Metro Lab? To develop a certain project which is impossible to develop in a normal rehearsal situation because Metro Lab also has extensive technology. Aaron came to me with this idea of creating scores for philosophers. Uh, I'm an expert on scores, I'm not an expert on philosophy. And I was intrigued by this concept. A lot of my artistic practice, though, is interested in that. It's interested in exploring ways that philosophy can be um, considered a practice, can be actually performed. And for the first time, I think it was with Matrilab that I found a place that would actually help me do this kind of research. One of the most exciting things that we've been doing in the past month is actually choosing a few scores, um, a few verbal notation or graphic notation scores, and then undergoing the very challenging and extremely rewarding act of seeing how these scores can be transcribed or translated away from being a musical score to being a conversational score, a score for thinking. This for me captures, in a sense, the, the spirit of Metro Lab. It's kind of a place where um, transfers are being made between different art forms, between different ways of making things, of thinking. And the transfer process is as important as the creative process. So we're working on a project called Musicking the Body Electric, which is a multi-year research project, which involves the idea of communicating instructions to musicians through a score interface, which isn't uh, the visual score that we're used to, but it's a, a tactile or haptic suit that the performer wears. And uh, using vibration, there are certain instructions communicated to the performer. I've had many ideas for pieces in the past where musicians wouldn't be on stage. The um, sit down and be still concert, as you call it, is only one possibility of listening to music. And I always imagine music to be something like uh, something like exploring a castle or or walking through a forest, listening to the birds and the sounds of the. Couldn't music be like that? This is a similar kind of engaging experience where you have some say in what you listen to. What's interesting is to let musicians experience the real world by walking. Take cues both from the outside world, from the other players that they hear, from sounds they might hear in the environment, and integrate them into an architecture that is proposed to them by the score. The fine arts at Concordia have critical mass of great artists, thinkers, experimenters, who engage not only you know, with the world outside, but also with each other, who create new thought by the virtue of being together. I think MATLAB could be a, a node, a focal point in a worldwide network for these kind of things.